Hey, what's up guys? This is Evan, also known as AT Lubeck, coming at you with the ETL airport update for uh, November. This is the 15th airport update. And um, I did say last month that there um, I might have some new planes in this update, and I kind of lied. Uh, I didn't get any just due to the fact that they're not even out yet. Um, they're still available for pre-order, and I can't get them yet. And plus, I'm still saving some money for other things, so... Um, you probably won't see any new planes till next month, and I promise that because of Christmas time and stuff like that, you'll definitely see a lot more planes, mainly coming from uh, Terminal A over here. You'll definitely see some new Delta planes. You'll see at least, hopefully, four new Delta planes by next month, and I'm hoping that. Let's cross our fingers. It'd be great if I can see four for next month. So anyway, I'm going to get right into the airport update. Um, nothing new this month. It's just, you know, this is kind of a slow time at the airport, even doesn't even though it doesn't look that way. It's mainly a slow time for Terminal B over here. But anyway, I'll, I'll start off usually for Terminal A over here. And um, yeah, it's kind of a slow time today, but, you know, I'll get what I can get. So we'll start right down here. Um, this Delta... MD-90, uh, he's pushing back from gate A5, and he's heading out to um, New York JFK, and then he'll come back and head out to LaGuardia. Here we have a Delta Boeing 757-200 with winglets. Uh, he just arrived about uh, 15 minutes ago from Los Angeles, and he's uh, going to get his people off and head back out to Los Angeles. Here we have another Delta Boeing 757-200. He's pulling into gate A7. He just arrived like a minute ago from um, San Francisco, and he's going to get his people off, and he's going to head back out. All right. Here we have another Delta Boeing 757-200. He just landed from Seattle, and he's going to go pull into gate A8, and he's going to get his people up and head back out to Seattle later on. Over here chilling at gate A12, we have a Delta A330-300. Uh, he's at the gate. He's getting cargo loaded and passenger loaded, and he's going to head out later to Amsterdam Schiphol. Right here we have a Delta... MD-90, uh, he's taxiing over to runway 9 left, and he's going to head out to uh, Atlanta. Alright. Alright, here we have, let me get the focus. Sorry about that. Here we have a Delta um, ERJ-145. Uh, he is about to turn on to 9 left once the 757 exits. And uh, he's heading out to Cincinnati, and then he'll return and ha head out to Baltimore later on. Here we have a Delta um, CRJ-900. Uh, he's, again, waiting to take off. And um, he is heading out to Boston, and then he'll come back and head out to Philly. All right. Let me get this guy to focus. Sorry about that. Uh, here we have a Delta um, Embraer. Um, 170, uh, he is also awaiting takeoff, and uh, he is heading out to um, Cleveland, which is the new route, and I'm not doing Columbus anymore, I'm doing Cleveland, and uh, he's heading out to Cleveland, and then he, he will come back and head out to Indianapolis. All right, and last but certainly not least, oh. here we have a Delta. Boeing 737-700, he is at gate A16. He just arrived from Detroit, and he's getting his people off, and then he's going to do a turnaround flight to Minneapolis, St. Paul. All right, that concludes Terminal A. That's it for this airport. Not, not a whole lot going on, but I promise by the December update, not only am I going to have new planes, but this terminal is going to be bustling with planes. You're, they're going to be... Um, all over the the airport, just some at gate and a majority on the taxiways and runways. All right, I'm going to get over here, and let's start over by the southwest, just because we haven't done that in a while. We, we usually leave them for the last reason. All right. 
we have a Southwest 737-800. Uh, he is he's going to be heading out to um, um, he's heading out to Baltimore, and then he's going to come back from Baltimore and head out to St. Louis. All right, quick turnaround. Sorry about that. Here we have a Delta of uh, Delta. Oh my God, a Southwest 737. Uh, 800. He is heading out to um, Chicago Midway, and he'll come back and he'll head out to Las Vegas later on because this is kind of like the morning time, sort of. Here we have a Southwest 737-300. He is heading out to um, Orlando, and then he'll come back and head out to Nashville. All right, there he is. All right, moving. Sorry about this, guys. Camera work. I'm pretty bitter about that, but not today for some reason. All right, let's get this guy to focus. Here we have a United Express um, Dash 8 Q400. He is heading out to um, Washington Dulles today. He is uh, getting ready to hold for runway 5 left. All right, just turned on to runway 5 left and awaiting takeoff. We ha Here we have an Air Canada Embraer 190. He is heading out to Toronto Pearson. All right, now we'll start moving down the line. Here we have a United 737-800. He is heading out to um, Chicago O'Hare, and he will do that flight again until it's his time to go out to uh, San Francisco later on. All right, keep, mo keep on moving down the line. Here we have a uh, United 737-800. He is heading out to Newark, and then he will come back and do his flight out to um, Houston Bush. Alright, got this guy in the frame. Here we have an American Airlines um, 737-800. He is heading out to Miami and he will continue to do that flight today until it's his time to head out to Los Angeles later on today. Alright. Just arrived um, into gate Bravo B8, sorry. Um, here we have a U.S. Airways A319. He just arrived from Philadelphia, and he's going to do a turnaround flight out to Washington, Dulles, uh, Washington Reagan. Sorry about that. All right, I'm just going to get this guy right here just because he's easy. All right, here we have a U.S. Airways A319, A320. He just landed from Charlotte, and he's going to head back out to Charlotte until it's his time later on to head out to Phoenix. All right, Get, we're getting there, almost done. All right, here we have an American Airlines MD-82. Um, he's going to be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth momentarily, and then he'll come back from Dallas-Fort Worth, and he always does that flight, so I don't know why I'm explaining so much. All right, here we have an American Airlines A319 with Sharklets. Um, he will be pushing back soon, and he will head out to Chicago O'Hare. All right, last, but certainly not least, here we have Frontier A319. He is turning onto the main taxiway to head over to runway five left, and he's heading out to um, Trenton today. And uh, he operates on seven weekly. He does Trenton one day, Denver another day, and he kind of, um, you know, does that. So that's his uh, operation service schedule, and that's it, guys. That wraps up the airport update. This is a quicker one, I guess because there wasn't a whole lot to cover, but, um, and also a whole lot of news, because last update there was just a ton of things I was telling you guys, but, yeah, look out, um, in, um, December for the update. I promise you, and I really hope it really, it's going to be a great update, guys. I'm very positive about that. I'm really looking forward to seeing, uh, this airport, whoops, sorry about that, and this airport you know, getting some more heavies. I will see probably two triple seven, two hundred ER. Um, I should see that hopefully by that time, if not one. So um, I'll probably just see one or two. So we'll see how how that goes. And I will at least see two MD nineties. So I am excited about that. And then hopefully around March we will see the Delta seven thirty seven nine hundreds at the airport. But that's not until March because they are not out yet. So. As for Terminal B, uh, nothing new, 
possibly, I don't know when I'm going to get it, but it's kind of on my uh, back list. I'm not really, I don't need it anytime soon, but the American CRJ700. Um, probably won't see that till the new year, unless, you know, I pull another rabbit out of my hat and there's a new plane. So, anyway guys, that wraps up the airport update. Thank you for watching. Um... Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And if you subscribe, just leave me a comment letting me know that you did. And I will subscribe right back to your channel. Um, so thank you so much. Um, I will see you guys next update. And fingers crossed it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned, guys. I will see you guys soon. And peace out.